on you. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. And what I need for you to do, we're doing better, but give this video a thumbs up. It helps the video get caught up in the algorithm and pushed out to more people. So definitely give this video a thumbs up. Now I'm hoping my voice will hold up. I'm trying to come down with, I think, a cold. Um, so it's gonna maybe be in and out. You'll just have to forgive me for that. But what we're going to be doing today is decorating my dining room and my drink station for Easter 2023. I'm so excited to show you what I've decided to do. Um, and then at the end of this video, I had, um, many of you have purchased the wig and love it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I had someone say that they wanted me to show them how that I keep the wig on secure. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back in time and show you when I got dressed today and show you how to put your wig on where it's very secure. Okay, so let's start decorating for Easter in my dining room, okay? Maggie's in there on her perch on the couch, and I didn't have the heart to take the blankets. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I want to do is go in with this runner. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby this year, and I think it is so pretty and just dainty. And I'm just gonna put it straight down the middle. Now I'm gonna show you what I was going to do, but I couldn't find the other plates. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm definitely doing, okay? I just love it. It looks so French country, so farmhouse. Okay, I'm going in with these chargers I have had for a long time. I think I picked them up at Walmart years ago. I just wanted something very, I really wanted something really neutral. I just wanted something very soft and pretty. Okay, next I'm going in with my cutting board. TJ Maxx, $14.99. I've had this a long time. And I'm just gonna snug this right in here. I love all these warm, natural colors playing off one another. Okay, as far as my centerpiece goes for my dining room table, I'm going to be using this beautiful white planter in my decor from Walmart this year. And then I have this cross I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year. I think they have it this year. And I just put some of that baby breath um, garland around it. I just wanted it really soft and pretty. And I'm going to set that in the center. Next I'm going in with these. I've had these for a while. I picked them up at TJ Maxx, a set of four for $24.99. I'm just going to keep layering my decor, get all these different textures. Now this is what I was going to do. I saw these at TJ Maxx Home Goods and I love them, but I couldn't find any but two. And I was going to put it on here and just make it look like that. I thought that would look so sweet um, and just soft for Easter, but I can't do that. So I went back into my stash. I've had these for a long time, TJ Maxx, $4.99. And I thought, well, I'll just use these. And I really think that's cute. Okay, I'm going to be recycling these as well. I picked these up last year at Target. And I thought, well, I think those will look really pretty. And then I'm going in with these again, recycling again. These are from TJ Maxx last year or year before. And I thought I'd just place that right in the center. So you can definitely use what you have to make a really cute tablescape. Okay, next, I'm just going in with these napkins that I picked up this year at Kirkland's and these little um, napkin rings from Kirkland's. And I could just lay that right like that if I wanted, or I could put it right there. I might just lay it right like that. 
I think that's pretty. It kind of hides that centerpiece, but I don't think it'll be a problem. It sort of adds motion to the table, I think. I just love this Easter tablescape, how it turned out. It's very simple, but I like it. Now we're gonna work on my drink station. Okay, as you can see right there, I hung um, some little hooks that I've had for quite a while. I got them, I can't remember the store, but it was in Mobile. It's inside of a Burke's Outlet. It's some kind of little, um, I can't remember it. But anyway, you can get those anywhere, but I've been wanting something like that. Many of you might remember when I hauled this basket from Hobby Lobby and I just put in some flowers like I had just picked them and just gonna put them right in there. And then when I get through, I have a mirror to show you. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, right now I'm not gonna hang anything else on these little hooks, but eventually I am going to put something else on there. Okay, let's get started with the drink station. I just had to use this bunny picture from Walmart. He kind of matches my plates. I don't know if you could notice. Look at this but I love it. So I'm just gonna put it right up here. I think that is beautiful. It adds such color and life and I love those little, that bead detailing. It adds a lot of texture and warmth to the area as well. Okay, many of you may remember at TJ Maxx when I picked this up, should have picked the plates up, but I didn't. It's reversible. You can use this for spring or summer. Really, you could use this all year round. And then this for Easter. I'm just gonna take this little garden ball, put it right in here. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And I just love what that does to my Easter decor. I think it amps it up. Then when Easter is done, all I have to do is flip this around, or I could leave the rabbit out and just pluck some things off and I'm ready for spring. Okay, I'm using these little mugs again that I picked up. I don't know. I think it was Hobby Lobby, but look how that coordinates. I love it. So I'm just gonna put this one right here and this one right here. And I always just keep this hanging there and that. Pretty much everything you see on here is what I keep on here most of the time, unless I'm changing it up. And for summer, I'm definitely gonna change it up, okay? And maybe even like a late spring, I'll change it up, okay? Next, I'm going in with this picture I bought on Amazon and the Real Touch Tulips, and I'll link everything I can find in the description box below. And I'm just gonna set it right here. It adds such a sweet little touch. And I'm trying not to show over that way because I don't want you to see what I'm working on. <laughs> okay, next I'm going on with this one cross plus three nails equals four given. So true. I'm gonna put that right on this little stand because to me and my family, that's what Easter's about. And next I'm going in with this. I just wanna have him right here, really cute. I think he's so adorable. I really like how this green right here in my Real Touch Tulips plays off the green here and in that little garden ball. I think it adds such softness and just, I don't know, a delicate touch. Next, I'm going in with this. Melvin loves Jordan almonds. So I'm gonna put that right there. And those Jordan almonds pull in the colors from the rabbit and the other little tulips. So sweet.
Okay, next I'm going in with this little Cottontail Field Sweet Shop Jelly Beans Candies and Chocolate Bunnies. Um, I picked it up at Hobby Lobby last year after Easter on a deep clearance. I think that's really cute. I'll show you better in a minute. And this came from Target's Dollar Spot. And at Target, they had that thicker one. But, you know, this is just as good. And it was a lot cheaper. $5 compared to $20. And I'm just going to stick this right on top of that. That is adorable. Let's take a look at it. Okay, if you're standing here, this is what you see. I really love how my drink station turned out for Easter. I love all that decor that I put on there. And then my table, I really like it too. Now I have two more little items I think I'm gonna add to the table. Um, I, I was on the fence. I really wanted little small candle holders, but I couldn't find any, so let's take a look. Okay, here it is with the bunnies. I decided I'd put them on there. I think it does need something, but I don't know if I really want the bunnies. I wish I had small little candle holders, very, very tiny ones so that the centerpiece would be, you know, the main focal point, but I thought I'd show you what this looks like. Okay, this is what I had to hang up. My other mirror fell and broke, and I'd been looking at this one for a while at Target. So I picked it up, uh, it was 70 or $80, and now I'm going to have to get something either to go under my chicken and hen because they're too short, or I'm gonna have to replace them with something. So I just stuck um, a really pretty egg garland there and I think it looks really sweet and it definitely opens up the house much more because it's a longer mirror than I had before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of how I decorated my dining room table and my drink station for Easter 2023. I love all my little Easter decor that I have out. It's very simple but nice. I was going to put little rabbits on each side of that but I don't think I'm going to. I think I like it really simple. I just love the subtle Easter touches in this decor and I love all the textures playing together, the little bit of color. I didn't want anything too bright because I'm just really loving the neutral decor right now. I do like color, but I'm loving this neutral look. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. 
And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss any of my uploads or community posts. That way, if I take a day off or something's going on that I want to share with you, you won't miss it. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. And I will see you on Friday. Um, I'm planning to be decorating in my kitchen for Easter on Friday. So let me get Maggie. See, I haven't eaten my food this morning and say that's rare for me. She's gained weight since we've increased her food and I'm thrilled about that. But she's healthy. I think she just, her nose is wet. I think maybe, maybe she's just not feeling as spry as normal either. <laughs> Say hi, say hello, say I love you. Oh, say so sleepy, say so sleepy. Okay, several of you have purchased the wig that I love and bought, and one of you reached out and asked if I could show you how I keep it on my head securely. So this is my natural hair. Um, I haven't done anything to it. I just blew it dry. That's why it kind of looks a little wild, but it's... um. It kind of, I got hot and it kind of frizzed some, <laughs> but that doesn't matter, okay? So what I do is I take my, I take a hair little tie and I take my hair and I pull it back in a low pony, okay? As far back as I can get, I mean as low as I can get. All right, then I just kind of put this all behind my ears and I bought this on Amazon. You can get a, a two pack if you want. I'll link it in the description box below. But I just got a one pack because I wasn't sure if I'd like it. And I do like it. It keeps it very secure. Okay, now I have dermographia, um, which is nothing bad. It just means writing on the skin. So you, I put lotion on my neck. So you're going to see it looks all red, but I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so then what I do, I'm trying to look in this. I put this near where my where my um, line of my hair is, and I Velcro it, it's very secure, and then I pull my hair up, okay, like that, all right? Now, you can get like a, um, a wig cap. I had one of those. To me, they're hot, and my hair is so soft that it slides off, okay? So now sometimes I get a little bump here in the back from where my hair is in this pony, but you really can't tell it. All right, so pull that up. And I'm gonna stick, I've not done this before, but I think I'm gonna stick some of that hair that's hanging down like that. Then I've got my wig. Maggie's having a fit, it has adjustments on the inside I just pull it tight to fit my head and then you find your little ear tabs and then we're going to put it on okay <laughs> this is what it looks so far but you have to work with it you just have to play with it and get it where you want it but it's very secure on my head i mean this thing is not going anywhere the more you fluff it the prettier it's gonna look so i'm gonna go ahead and fluff so, until next time bye guys <laughs>